Hello everybody, welcome back to the Asus RG YouTube channel and we've got something pretty awesome for you guys. We've got Quad SLI with Marge 2 enabled here on our system. So we previously showcased you the performance potential of what one Mars card had to offer, already the world's fastest graphics card. So now we've gone ahead and put two uh, Mars 2 platform uh, cards, excuse me, uh, on our platform that we have set up here, so our Rampage 3 Black Edition board. We've got our trusty uh, Gold Series AX1200 um, Corsair power supply powering these two beasts of a graphics card configuration and we're going to go ahead and run through some performance potential for you guys so you can see what two uh, Mars 2 cards are capable of. So as you, you saw we had actually Unigen running in the background here and so we've gone ahead and now just completed our first initial run and we can see that with two Mars uh, two, excuse me, with two Mars 2 graphics cards, we now have an average frame rate of 75 frames a second. That's uh, almost 100% scaling from what we had with one card, which was approximately about 40 frames. So we see uh, a huge increase in the overall performance, uh, which is really, really nice to have, especially at these massive resolutions that we're taking advantage of here from a, a 3D vision surround capable platform where we're running a resolution of 5060 by 1080. We're running the DirectX 11 tessellation all the advanced uh, features such as the volumetric and the occlusion as well as antroscopic filtering and the rest of the really high-end image quality settings that you would want to have in your games. So we're going to go ahead and continue forward just like we did before and show you some of the other performance potential uh, in some of the other games out there. So we'll go ahead and quit, quit out of Unigen here and let's jump to the next test. Okay, so we've gone ahead and now loaded up here to our graphics menu console. We can see here we've got uh, pretty much all the settings set to ultra, the very highest spec. So we're actually running in a custom configuration, running at the previous aforementioned resolution of 5760 by 1080. And we've got pretty much everything uh, set to max. So we're going to go ahead and use these same settings and go ahead and run the benchmark and take a look and see what we can have with two Mars 2 graphics cards in quad SLI. During the night, the years of the world made a difficult journey around Mars to Narayana, the foot of Mount Nanko. His men took their positions on the battlefield. The young group Hideaki has taken an excellent... Okay, so we've gone ahead and finished up our total war. Shogun 2 and uh, we can see here we have very impressive frame rate of 66.4 frames so once again an awesome and almost near 100% scaling shown here with uh, two Mars 2 cards and quad SLI so overall very impressive performance offered to us here in this package especially considering that at that game uh, we're running the latest generation of DirectX 11 graphics featuring tessellation and pretty much all the image quality settings that right now are pushing the PC platform to the forefront of the industry in terms of graphics fidelity and overall gameplay. Keeping in mind that of course with that type of game title, uh, the impressiveness of being able to have so much range, so much detailing with so many characters on screen is, is, is just really outstanding. And uh, the video is not even going to do it justice. It's one of these things that definitely if you ever have the opportunity to check this out in person, you definitely would want to. So we're going to go ahead and uh, jump over next to, to uh, Crisis 2. Select Ultra as our preset, 5760 by 1080 as our resolution. We're going to go ahead and pick the same map, Times Square, and do one run. API is going to be set to DirectX 11. We'll go ahead and do Edge AA and High Resolution Textures. So we'll go ahead and add that to our queue and go ahead and start our run.
Okay, so we've gone ahead and finished up our run here of crisis, and we've gone ahead and now have a new average frame rate of 48.3 frames. So considering that uh, Crisis 2 is really setting kind of uh, the, uh, the benchmark in terms of graphics fidelity along with a couple of other titles like uh, Shogun Total War 2, The Witcher 2, which recently launched, this is just really impressive that you're able to have that level of fidelity in gameplay. Uh, for you guys though, we want to go ahead and do a little bit more since we're doing Quad SLI. So we're going to go ahead and also show you one of the other uh, runs from this benchmark mode, uh, which also shows some nice real detail uh, within Crisis 2 in terms of what it has to offer. So we're going to go ahead and switch over to Central Park, same settings, and we're going to go ahead and uh, run this guy in. Running. I'll give you as much technical support as I can, but I'm going to get this myself. For now, just put that way up the spear. Right on your shoulder, man. Okay, so we've gone ahead and finished up our quad SLI run of the secondary Central Park benchmark, and we're now averaging 45 frames. So overall quite impressive in terms of what quad SLI has to offer us in Crisis 2. So uh, this gives you a little bit of an overview on the performance potential of what's offered uh, with quad SLI. So two Mars 2, two of the world's fastest graphics cards, uh, set up on a test bed on a 3D Vision platform. So overall quite impressive. So, as always, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, definitely feel free to drop us the comments on the YouTube page or leave them at Twitter or at Facebook or always head over to www.asusrog.com forward slash forum.